This code sample includes two files that function as uh, views, uploading form and uploading success, and a third file, the controller. This file is responsible for displaying a form the user can uh, use for selecting a file and up upload it. Well, if you create input element with a type uh, file, then you get a file chooser, a button the user can press in order to select a file for uploading. So when pressing submit, that file is uploaded. Uh, name, attribute name of this input element should be user file and make sure you create the starting tag of the form element using uh, this function. If you check the output of this view then you can find that the form starting tag includes uh, the enc type attribute assigned with uh, this value. This is necessary for having a form that allows the user to select a file and upload it. Now let's take a look at the success message view. It is another PHP file that uh, prints out this message. The file was successfully uploaded as well as going over the key value pairs of the dollar upload data array. This is an array the controller pass over to this view. So now let's take a look at the controller. So the controller in this code sample, its name is uploading form controller. So as you can see, if you do the view source, you can find that the action refers to the controller uploading form controller that's all now the controller itself includes uh, this action and this action uh, this is the default action means that if we try to refer the controller in this way then the output we get would be this view the uploading form view So that's why when we access, try to access this URL, we get the form form that allows us to pick a file. So let's pick a file. Here is a file I want to pick. Now, when I press submit, then an HTTP request is sent to a URL address that ends with uh, this path. This path is the path for invoking the upload file action in the uploading form controller. So let's take a look at the upload file action. This action includes in the beginning the creation of an array, associative array, that configures the uh, upload library. We configure saying that uh, there is a folder, its name is Uploads, where we want the uploaded file to be saved. Uh, we configure specifying the types we allow, the types of files we allow, maximum size, max width, max height of the image. These, these are the limits we set. So when the user press submit, this action is invoked and we get uh, an initialization of the upload library and then calling the function do upload actually completes the uploading uh, process. Now if it succeeds then it returns true and then the execution is forward to the uploading success view. Uploading success view as you can see gets uh, the data, the data uh, we see over here dollar data is an associative array with the key upload data that its value is uh, what the data function returns. So if we pass over dollar data to the view we actually enable the existence of uh, upload data, upload underscore data variable over here. 
That's why we go over the upload data variable, which is actually an array, because data function returns an array, and we print out each one of the key value pairs. Now, if the upload s fails, then you can see that the user get to see the same um, view that presents a form. And you can also see that we pass over to that view uh, an associative array with the key arrow. So we can actually refer uh, dollar arrow within this uh, view. And indeed, over here, we print out the content of dollar arrow. So let's give it a try. Let's press submit. And in this case, as you can see, we got a message saying the file was successfully uploaded, meaning that we got this view and over here, iteration over the key value pairs, this array old. This is an array that was received when calling the data function. So this is an array with lots of key value pairs, lots of information about the file that has just been uploaded. As you can see, we also have a link for getting back to the form this link upload more files is because the success um, message includes this uh, code that creates that link so if I press that link I will be um, taken to this controller the very same controller we were um, overviewing just a minute ago so let's give it a try and you we get a back the same form for uploading files. Let's pick a, a file that uh, doesn't pass the validation a file like this one. As you can see, if I press submit, I get a message saying it is um, this file is larger than the permitted size. If we want to uh, understand what exactly happened, then the request was to uh, this specific action in the uploading form controller controller and here uh, calling do upload returned false so we got the execution forward to the uploading form view with an associative array that actually allows us to refer dollar arrow within this view so as you can see I print out the content of dollar arrow and this is the reason for this uh, line. Now, if you want to check whether the file, the previous file was indeed saved, then we can just open the uploads folder and here is the file that we uploaded.